Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video we're going to have a look at question 73 to 75 of section 3 of the purple booklet. Now, this is a question about the attenuation of an x-ray passing through an absorbent material. There's quite a lot of information which I've copied out here, and question 73 asks uh, which of the following is closest to the thickness of absorber required to stop half the photons from passing through um, an absorber with an attenuation coefficient of 0.2 centimetres. Okay, so we're given a lot of the information we need. It's a simple matter just putting the uh, numbers into our equation here. And this is the equation we've been given, which is i over i naught equals e to the minus a x. So we have, we, we know that this here is going to be a half because it's really just a ratio of what's coming out and what's going into um, an absorbent material. So we can set this to be a half. e is a constant. Um, and we know a, we're told the attenuation constant is minus 0.2 and we're solving for x. So this is a question that we need to know a little bit about logs for. Um, we're given some values for the natural log of something and um, just a reminder that means a log to the base e of x and if you think of it like that it might be easier to remember some of the other log rules that we need to play around with. So we were also told here um, that the natural log Oh, sorry, I got ahead of myself. If we, if we say um, y equals e to the x, and therefore the natural log um, of y would be x. So if we were to look at that in this case, um, we can set y to be a half. So the natural log of a half is going to be e to the x, which means that it's going to be uh, minus 0.2x. Now we're not given a value for uh, the natural log of a half, but when you have a log that's a fraction, what you can do is take away the log of the numerator and the log of the denominator, and you end up um, with the same answer. So that's one of the log rule steps there. Um, another log rule you might know is that the log of one is always going to be zero. Um, a log really asks what power do you have to raise something to to get the answer in the brackets here and anything to the power of zero is one so we know that the log of um, one is always going to be zero minus 0.693 equals minus 0.2x we can get rid of some of these um, minuses and say that minus 0.2x is equal to 0.693 if we divide um, both sides by 0 0.2, um, you can round this up to 0 0.7 because the answers that are given to you are rounded. And so we get an answer of 3.5 centimetres. And in this case, that works out to be answer B for question 73. So if we look at question 74 now, it says, how thick should, how thick should a foil made from absorber 2 be to give the same absorption as a one millimeter thick foil made of absorber one for x rays of energy five times ten to the six. Okay, so for absorber one and for absorber two, we can go to the table that I have here and we can see um, what we're looking at. And we're looking at 0.4 and 0.2 for the values of A. So 0.4 and 0.2. The value of x for absorber one is going to be one millimeter, and it's what we're working out for absorber two. Um, so we'll just leave that as x. So we're given this part of the equation, which is really the ratio, as I said, of protons uh, that enter and leave this absorbing material. And if they're going to have the same absorption, then this value is going to be the same for both of them. So we can say, um, let, let's change this around for absorber 1, where we've got minus 0.4 times 1, which we're just going to keep as that. And for the next one, um, we've got i by i naught equaling e to the minus 0.2x. If this is going to be the same as this, then we can say e to the 0.4 equals e to the minus 0.2x. From this, you might already be able to get a value for x. Um, but if you take away the powers, you can see that x is obviously going to be equal to 2 millimeters. In this case, that means the answer for 74 is going to be D.
If we look at 75, then it says a sensitive instrument in the path of an X-ray beam is shielded by placing a rectangular uh, slab of absorber one in the path of the beam. The slab allows no more than an average of 10 to the two photons to strike the instrument. If an average of 10 to the four photons enters the slab and the photon energy is 10 to the six, which of the following is closest to the minimum thickness of the slab, that will give this shielding. So I've got, um, a way of rewording this. So we know that the amount that we want to exit the slab is going to be 10 to the two and the amount that's going to be entering is 10 to the six or 10 to the four, sorry. Um, that's all from the question. I've got a value of A here, which is 0.7, which we get from the table. So we know the photon energy is going to be 10 to the six um, for um, absorber one. So 10 to the six for absorber one is going to have an A of 0.7, so that's where I've got that from. And again, we're trying to work out x, so I've just left it as x. So if we rewrite it, rewrite it like this, it actually becomes a lot easier um, because it's just the same sort of thing as we were dealing with before. Good standard practice just to write the equation out um, every time. So we have a, a ratio of 10 to the two over 10 to the four equals e to the minus 0.7 x. So now we just need to work this out. Um, we have 10 to the minus 2, which is what this fraction ends up as. And this will be equal to e to the minus 0.7x. And again, this is just um, our logs again. So ln of 10 to the minus 2 is going to be minus 0.7x. And whenever you have uh, something raised to something else in a log, you can take this negative two and just put it at the start. So instead of dealing with um, dodgy numbers, you can have minus two times the log of 10 equals 0.7x. This is a value we're given in the question. You're going to scroll up and see what it is. 2.303. So minus two on 2.303 equals minus 0.7x. So then we just need to solve um, for x. So if we were to do that, we get x is equal to minus 2 over 2.303 divided by 0 0.7 minus. And obviously the minuses cancel. And you end up uh, with an answer if you go through and do the division with 6.58. And of course, because our answers are rounded in the question, uh, that gives us an answer of 6.6 .6 centimetres. So that means that the answer for number 75 is going to be C. So that was question 73 to 75 of section 3 of the Purple Booklet. I uh, hope that helped. Thanks for watching.